welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayley and this is the House for Hosting. I'm so glad that you found my video and you are here joining me today because today marks the second video for my organization series for the month of September. Now if you missed my video last week, I organized my linen closet and some cabinets in the living room, so go check that out. I will link it at the end of this video for you to watch as well. And I hope that you will stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss the rest of my videos for this organization series. Now today, I have something very fun planned. I'm going to be organizing all of my kitchen cabinets and drawers and getting it in order because it needs it so bad. You know how when your spatulas and your silverware, all that gets kind of mixed up and just unorganized. Today's the day, I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna organize it, and it's gonna look so much better, and I can't wait to go ahead and get it done. Now, with that being said, I wanna say thank you to the sponsor of my video today, LifeWhip. I have worked with LifeWhip before, and I love their products, and so when they asked to collaborate again, it was just a no-brainer for me, and I thought that it was so fitting because this product that I'm gonna be using today is a clear storage bin organizer. I love these. Like anytime I'm organizing, if I have a storage bin or baskets, that is the best way to utilize um, anything for organizing to get it in order and make it look good. They're so simple, they're so versatile, and I just love them. And so this pack comes actually in a set of four together, and I'm going to be using it today. I have in mine, I think I'm going to do in my Tupperware drawer, you'll see later. It needs a lot of work. I feel like this set of four will work perfectly for that. So I'm gonna show you how I use them and, and how I can make them work in my space. What I love about these containers is they're clear and they're plastic. And like I said, they're versatile. So if you don't wanna use it in your kitchen, you can use it in your bathroom, you can use it in the laundry room. You know, the possibilities honestly are endless here. That is why I love them so much. You can add labels to them if you like to label things. I'm actually not going to label these today because I may end up changing the locations of them later. And so by not labeling them, it just makes it easier to kind of switch it up. But if you add labels, you can put little sticker labels. You can write on it with a dry erase marker or anything like that and make it really cute too. But again, I just want to say thank you to LifeWit for sponsoring this video. If you are getting motivated and you have some areas in your home that you want to organize and you feel like you need, then I encourage you to check the description of this video where you can order your own set of four clear storage containers to organize your space as well. And then check out LifeWhip because they have many, many other products that I know you will love. Now, let's get into the video and let's put these storage bins to use. So I wanted to start off this video by showing y'all how bad my cabinets really are. If yours look like this, don't feel bad. Just let this serve as motivation to get in there and organize and clean them out. And trust me, there's nothing more satisfying than knowing that it's clean and organized whenever you finish that chore. So I want to show you, this is the spatula chore and it's horrible, as is this one. And then also you will see my silverware and lids in just a second. And y'all, you couldn't even open that lid drawer. It was just a hot mess. So we're going to get that taken care of today. And I hope that I give y'all some good cleaning motivation. So the first thing you're going to do is pull everything out, just like I said in my last video. Anytime you are organizing stuff, you want to make it get completely empty. It's going to look worse before it gets better. That's just the nature of it. But what I did first is I cleaned out or cleaned off my countertops in the kitchen so that I had um, a lot of countertop space to kind of work with because I knew I was going to be laying out a lot of things. And then I pulled everything out of these cabinets here and just kind of laid it out. I didn't go ahead and start organizing yet. I went ahead and pulled everything out and then I cleaned out the cabinets by vacuuming them or wiping them out. And then at that point, I was able to start organizing. But first, you gotta just get everything out and see what you're working with.
when I tell y'all we have way too much Tupperware, this is what I'm talking about. Honestly, half of these didn't have lids or the bottoms didn't are broken. So I just spent the time going through and writing down and kind of keeping up a little chart of like what actually had a matching set and what wasn't broken. And I got rid of the things that were broken and then the things that didn't have tops. I kind of just kept them. I'm, I'm trying to see if I have anybody in my family or a friend that just needs a bottom without a top. I know we don't have room for it, so I'm going to have to figure out something to do with that. But all in all, I was able to keep quite a bit still because my husband likes to use these to take his meals for work. And so it's nice for him to have that. But I just want it to be more organized and make it more functional so that we can actually find a top when we need it and not, you know, have to pilfer through broken pieces and things like that. I know I want to use these LifeWit containers here in this space. Years ago, before we even built our house, I saw somebody posted on Pinterest like a picture of a cabinet that had a pull-out drawer like this, and it was organized with her Tupperware and water bottles, and I saved it to my boards because I just thought that was such an inspiration for a good, like, organized cabinet. So, again, once I brought, when I knew that I was going to organize these, I knew that these containers would work perfectly here. It was exactly what I was wanting. So I started out by kind of putting them together. I used one of them for the bottom and one for lids. I realized quickly that the top is closer to that top cabinet than the bottom, so I had to move those down to, to have room for them to close. But all in all, I love how it turned out. It's super organized and super clean, and I'm just gonna have to convince my family to keep this up, so we'll see. Like I said, I knew that I wanted to have water bottles as well in that cabinet with the Tupperware. So I went ahead and pulled down all the cups that I have in this shelf here. And we have a ton of cups and a ton of water bottles. Again, several of them don't have matching tops. So I had to pull out the lids and figure out what tops went to what and what could be gotten rid of. I don't know how we accumulate this many cups and why they're all different, but if you have kids, I'm sure your cabinets look very similar to this. But I had to break it down and figure out a better way. So for organizing the cups, I kind of had a system of like what was a water bottle, what was plastic, what was glass, what was a sippy cup, um, and just kind of lined them up. And then whenever I went through my lids, I was able to organize it. Y'all, this turned out so good. It looks so much better than it did to start with. And I'm glad that I started out with this area first because this really motivated me to keep going once I saw how clean and how organized this area was. And I have shown it to my kids and my husband and they know that they have to keep it clean and they have to keep it organized because there's just no excuse for it to go back looking how it was. I mean, this just looks too good. And I literally love these containers by LifeWit. Y'all need to get you some for sure, because it is a game changer. All right, y'all remember that lid drawer that I was telling you about? 
Well, it's time to clean it out. And I don't even know where half of these lids came from because we don't have anything that matches them. So half of this stuff had to get thrown away. And I hate to throw away stuff that's not broken, but if we don't have a bottom to it, there's no point in keeping it and it doesn't serve anybody else any purpose. So here we are. I was able to make matches though on the water bottles. And that way, whenever I put stuff back, I know that it actually has a top to it. And so I can feel confident in that. But this is the part in the organizing where I started to get a headache because I just dreaded these lids. There were so many of them, I guess, that we've collected from just random different types of bottles over the years. But now that it's done, I'm so happy. So I wish I could come up with a better system of storing these lids rather than just kind of sitting them in the drawer. If y'all have any ideas, please let me know. They're just kind of random shapes. So I feel like it's hard to figure out a way to store them and it look cute. And I could put some containers in here, but they'd have to be pretty small because these drawers are not that deep. But for now, it works. I mean, since I've cleaned it out, you can at least close the drawer. So I will take that as a small win. So our cabinets go all the way to the ceiling and believe it or not, I have managed to find a way to still get them jam packed full of junk. <laughs> I think we have way too much, but I was able to put the cups back in a little organized system of how I felt like worked best. I put the odd shaped bottles that I couldn't do in the drawer down with the Tupperware up high. And then in the middle, I put my husband's like blender bottles and the plastic kind of coffee cups or to-go cups. And then down below, I use like everyday cups that we can reach, but it looks so much better. I have plans for my drawers with the spatulas and things like this. I actually have two drawers. They just have a bunch of random tools and stuff in them. And then if you've seen before, I have like a glass container on the countertop that I keep like my wooden spatulas. Honestly, I mainly use the wooden ones for cooking and then the other ones I use just if I need to for whatever else I'm cooking or if we're having like a get together and I need like a serving spoon or something, I'll use those. But I wanted to add some shelf liner to these and then I add some little um, dividers in here. So I feel like they are more organized now and I can get to things. I actually found stuff in here that I didn't even know I had, which is generally what happens when you let your drawers get this bad. So maybe try to clean yours out and you might find some stuff too. I found this shelf liner from Marshalls and I believe it was a 15 foot roll which ended up being more than enough for the areas that I used it in and I was just cutting it to fit. I like using this because again somehow we end up with random crumbs and stuff in the drawers and so this just kind of helps keep it clean and whenever you feel like you need to clean again you can just pull the stuff out and take this out and kind of shake it and it just keeps the area clean and fresh. And so I felt like it was cute too, but anyway.
for the batters and my drawers with the spatulas. I found this set of like wooden trays and I actually found these from Home Goods, so I can't link them, but I really liked it and I like that you could rearrange it. Now I did have this smaller one that ended up not working. I tried several different methods to try to fit them all in, but all in all, I was only able to use three. But I spaced it out, so I kind of had little spaces between them anyway, so it still worked in having it divided and cleaned. And I chose to keep two drawers for the, the kitchen tools. One of them is more of like just random stuff, like I said, I would use for if we're having a get together or something like that, or my baking. And then the other one was more of the spatulas. And for the other one, I had bought these shelf dividers that were like expanders, but they ended up being too tall. My cabinet drawers are not that deep, so that didn't work. So I'm just kind of laying them here and organizing them like that. And I might later actually make out of wood some little dividers that will fit in my shelves, but or my drawers. But for now, I feel like it looks really good and really organized. So. In order for this to stay clean, though, it's going to be on me because I'm the one that does the cooking around here. So, I think I can handle it, but I'll let y'all know. I actually have two drawers for my silverware. Whenever we were building, I knew that I was going to have like the gold hardware and I was shopping and actually found gold silverware or is it gold goldware? I don't know how you say that. Anyways, we're going to call it gold silverware, but I loved it. And so I didn't want to put the gold and the silver together because I didn't want to tarnish the gold. So I just keep them separated, which really and truly it works out better anyways, because it would just be too much to have in one drawer. And if you are a family of two or more, you probably need this much silverware because you know how it is. Even with us having two drawers full of silverware, there are times where we don't have a clean spoon to save our lives. So this works out good. But I wanted to clean it out and organize it and just kind of get it together and have this looking better too. Now this space was a close second to my favorite, to the Tupperware. Honestly, I don't know. I go back and forth between the Tupperware and this area here, but underneath my kitchen sink, it was just horrible. I have just empty bottles of cleaning supplies and just a bunch of random stuff. And so I knew that I was definitely gonna be pulling everything out and cleaning this and having this space much more organized for my cleaning products. And I'm so glad that I did because it turned out great now i went ahead and did the shelf liner here as well just as an extra protection for the bottom of the cabinets and to keep it clean too and i just cut it into three strips to make it fit and it worked out well So for this space, I found these things at Walmart and this was just like a standing shelf divider and you can actually buy more and they stack, but I just needed one for what I was doing. And then I got these plastic white containers to go down here. They're just really small containers, but they work perfect for holding um, my cleaning supplies like the pink stuff. And then this is an actual like Lazy Susan turntable thing. 
and I thought that was genius. I saw that from the home edit when they were talking about cleaning and organizing and it's just so much easier to be able to, you know, reach down and spin that and get my products out. I absolutely love it. And then we use the Cascade Platinum um, dishwashing little packs. And so I knew I wanted to put those into one container and I was actually going to do like a plastic container, but I found this glass jar on sale for $5 at Walmart and I figured that would work perfect. So I just emptied the packages of the dishwasher packs into this glass container and then I put them in the shelf underneath my sink. See how amazing that looks? I love it. Like it gets me motivated to do even more cleaning. And I'm so glad that my kitchen is so organized now. I hope this motivated y'all to get some organizing done too. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video today. I hope it's motivated you to do some cleaning and organizing and get your drawers in check. Again, if you want to try out the products that I use today, just head up to the description of this video where you will find a link that you can purchase your own containers as well from LifeWit. And also, special thank you to LifeWit for sponsoring this video. It's been fun. Anytime I get a chance to collaborate with this company, I love to do that. I think they are amazing to work with and their products are amazing so also when you're on their site check out the other things as well that they have because they're excellent quality good price and all around i am so pleased with the products that they have to offer y'all stay tuned because next week we will be diving more into more organization um, it's going to be my master bathroom next week which if you've seen me clean before you know that my master bathroom is pretty big i have a lot of cabinets in there and we need to do some organization in there as well. So stay tuned, subscribe, click a like, share my videos um, with your friends, anybody that you know who might benefit or would like watching as well. But until next time, thanks so much for being here and I can't wait to do it again. Bye guys.